from words to introduce, they will introduce more toxins in your body. And so you need to you need to to include only the foods that are easily digestible. Yes, including vegetables. Some are easy are more digestible easily, like cabbage, cauliflower, onions, uh, garlic, water leaf. There are some food vegetables that are easier to digest, and you need to start to embrace those ones and include uh, those vegetables in your diet. Stay away from those caffeinated teas that give you more ugly symptoms. Occasional green tea is good because it's a blood thinner too. Then number two, in addition to taking the healthy side of the salt, you need to also look for good sources of calcium. There are foods that can reduce weight gain, which is also part of the ugly signs. As the weight gain is coming, the menopausal weight gain, if you don't deal with it, it will come alongside with high blood pressure or diabetes signs, symptoms. And so you need to include foods that will help you with calcium, like chia seed. You need to include fennel seeds, cumin seeds, foods that are mostly in the seed family. You need to start to embrace them. Sesame seeds. There are several seeds. Black seeds. Several of these seeds can help you because they don't come with calorie and you need to stop uh, taking too much calorie in your diet. Then you need to also stay away from processed foods. Yes. If you like biscuits, like some of us, it took some time for us to completely know, understand that it makes the symptom worse because uh, they are highly acidic. Bread biscuits. Yes, it's some of the foods we consume daily, maybe for breakfast or as in between meals. But once that period comes and you want to uh, reduce your symptom, then you must learn how to do away with too much of those acidic foods so that to reduce acid in your body. Yes. Then you need to also avoid fried foods. This is very important. A lot of people may take you time to realize this, but the earlier you do it, stop frying your stew. Soon as you approach that, start approaching your menopause. Stop frying your stew. You can make your stew without frying it. Yes, make your stew with natural ingredients. When you fry it, it makes you to start developing fatty liver, become difficult to digest, becomes more acidic. So you stop, you start to stay away from these fried foods. Those are stews you can make very delicious stews without frying. It may take time to learn it, but that is the truth. Then you have to stay away from canned foods as much as possible. Your canned tomatoes and all the canned stuff that you used to love. You need to stay away and begin to go for natural things. 100% natural to help you reduce the negative and ugly symptoms of uh, menopause. Then you also, in addition to that, you need to start to include disease-fighting foods and blood thinners like garlic. If you have not been neglecting garlic, then you have to start making garlic your friend. Start using it to enhance the taste in your meals. It will help to reduce heart-related issues, which is common when the menopause comes fully. Other disease comes knocking. One of them frequently is the heart-related issues. So you need to be so close to your garlic your ginger, your turmeric, these are powerful blood thinners to avoid incidences of uh, stroke. 